Hey everybody, Noobtastic here, and today we are in the Heart of Fear. Now I'll be doing a trash uh, trash run here to the first boss, back out, reset, over and over. Uh, we'll be using a potion of luck, and we'll see exactly what this drops. I had to keep viewers tell me that I need to do this, that it's something viable. <clears throat> do not know if it's good or not, but uh, I don't know. I'll be back. And we'll find out when it's done. Alright guys, I thought I would mention before we uh, just jump to the end and see what I looted out here. That uh, this this instance hits pretty hard. And these, these first pulls, you uh, unless you're really geared, you need to space them out. Uh, more than once I ran in there with Starfall and pulled too much trash. And it found myself having to blow cooldowns to stay alive. The, uh, the trash, even though it is level 90, it hits awful hard. And uh, this druid I'm on is, she's a 700, 705, or whatever, lower. And uh, I was taking some massive damage. And, you know, if it wouldn't have been for having heals in the middle of it, I would have died several times. So uh, make sure, if you're not on a tank class, or you're not uh, pretty geared, that you, uh, you take this trash slowly, because uh, it's no joke. It'll hurt. After pretty much of the first pull, it's uh, you can pretty much pull some some good sized mobs together. Like uh, I kind of kind of segregated them into like uh, two sections together. I pull two sections, I kill those down, then I'd pull two more sections. Because unless I had all my cooldowns up, I couldn't just take like, more than two sections at a time. And uh, maybe it's me. Maybe you're a much better player than me, but uh, I don't know. And it sucked because I just understood. I uh, had done an add-on guide, and I don't have Healbot on for this. Usually, I'd have Healbot so I could just easily heal myself. And so I'm like, oh, kind of fluttered it. I'm like, oh shit, fuck, what do I do? But I'm not gonna go through the whole uh, instance here. Basically, you kill all the trash up to the first boss. At the first boss, you uh, take and uh, run back out and reset it, and you just do that over and over. I got usually three and a half or four complete cycles per lotion of, of a po uh, potion of luck so I didn't quite get four in well one time I got four in the other two uh, one I was just finishing that four and one of them I only got one at three and a half in so uh, hey maybe that has to do with gear I mean sure if you get better gear you can, you can kill more uh, some of these ads you know and it, it probably has to do with I'm not a real good druid player either so I'm not you know I don't know how to blow stuff up so if you're real good at your class you know you'll do a lot better than I did okay for this run one hour let's see what my notes said I can find them here I ended up getting 104 treasures now I had to open uh, 40 of them or 30 I think it was 40 of them before I ever finished the run because of the fact uh I just didn't have the bag space. I mean, 104, that's like as many bag slots as I would have. Uh, my total gold uh, outcut projected gold is 91.47. Now that's with the auction house involved and stuff. So, uh, you might not quite get that much, but uh, it's pretty good. Now, I vendored all the weapons because, you know, they have a high auction house gold value or uh, because of the... Um, auction house deposit but there's something to think about right now people are buying up mr pandera uh mats in in mass volume because they're saving up for the tomes of illusion from uh in legion and uh, a lot of your weapons disenchant into shards and those are the people are buying those up hot so if you want to disenchant them yourself for shards or if you want to try to sell them it, it's worth a shot but remember some of them weapons Especially the blue ones, they vendor for you know 39 to 50 gold. So I still think it's best to vendor off the weapons than to try to sell those or try to disenchant them for gold because I think uh, you get more out of it that way. So overall, this is a good farm. I did get 104 treasures, so it is a nice way to build up your mat supply for uh, 
Legion. I kept all the Trillium and and and, uh, and Ghost Iron and uh, Spirits of Harmony and everything I got out of the, out of the box. I kept all those. Okay, I did uh, send most of the greens that uh, that uh, were not weapons. I sent them off to my uh, to my banker tune. I will run them for uh, I don't know three to four days in the auction house. If they don't sell in three to four days, I'll send them off in Diggy EM. But uh, overall, I mean. Uh, this is nine grand plus. Uh, we'll say you uh, you didn't quite get the same value I got, so uh, well, well, this is this is seventy five hundred plus. No 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 question about it. Per hour for gold. Now I did get four of the patterns to drop, but the pat the prices to those patterns was uh, surprisingly low. Only like three hundred gold a piece for the patterns. I got like two blacksmithing, a tailoring, and a leatherworking. Nothing uh, big, but uh, hopefully they sell right away. Right away. I did get uh, what was it, four or five lock boxes, but I uh, at this point I haven't uh, I mailed them off to my rogue, but I haven't logged on my rogue to see what was in them. So no big deal. But uh, overall, if you got a tune that can do it, this is a nice way to. Uh, to earn some gold if you're watching TV or something, you can easily farm this and, and keep going. And uh, another thing, if you're on a rogue, you can shadow step past that first boss and go farther in to kill more trash. Now, I didn't do it on a rogue, so I didn't, you know, even go into explaining how to do that. But uh, for you rogue guys, you might like that. But uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Um, take a moment and uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and. Uh, have a good day, man. Maybe if you're bored, visit me on Twitch. I'm, I'm, I'm on Twitch every evening. But, uh, thanks a lot. Have a good one.